Hey guys, Glucia here, and I'm st don't know if I'm starting a new series or not. I this might just be like a couple special editions or something like that. But I am back on single player, but I am not on the normal world because, as you may have already noticed, there's some weird things going on here. And look, I got mining lasers, wrenches, some copper, some tin, some bronze, refined iron. What does this all mean? means I'm playing industrial craft and it's awesome uh, I'm just gonna kinda show you it a little bit and explain it a little bit but not too much I'm just kinda gonna show it off and then if you guys want like some tutorials and stuff I just was playing and and last night uh, I think I probably played this for like eight hours straight with online with my buddy Zen um, just kinda talking me through it help me figure out how to build everything but so yeah I got my giant stack of cable he said the higher you put them the better it is um, and they had to be spaced at least with a gap of four in between them those are um, windmills or wind turbines or whatever you want to call them uh, so those are generating electricity from the wind and then that and the thing next to it are my solar panels so they're not probably doing a whole lot right now <laughs> um, you saw my laser that is for mining, and it works great. Watch this. You ready for this? Let's just line ourselves up here. <laughs> Look at that. That was ridiculous. Carves right through it. It's awesome. It does take. It takes a lot to build it. Uh, like the materials you need, and it takes a lot to charge it. But I'm gonna talk briefly about that. But like I said, if you guys want to know more, then we can know more. So inside of my house it's not designed to be glamorous <laughs> got wires and machines all over the place but this is industrial craft baby um my recycler which turns any random object potentially into random scrap uh why is it not powered oh my power levels are dangerously low okay i have this these are my transmitters. All that electricity coming down goes into the transmitter, and then the transmitter transmits it to all these machines. And I have an emergency stockpile of both batteries for charging this up. Like sometimes, if I'm running a lot of machines, um, or uh, especially at nighttime, if I'm running a lot of machines, then the power levels on this will drop down. During the day, it usually charges up to the point where I'm okay. But I've actually been using all these machine, all these machines at once, for quite a while now. But this is my like emergency one. This isn't actually hooked up to any machines, so the power from the top is actually being split between them, which is counterproductive for the one that's powering the machines. But it also enables me to have a backup, so I could always just pull the battery, put it in the top. And it pulls the energy out, and then if you want to put energy in, just stick it in the bottom. So I can just transfer energy like that. This is another transformer that's separate from everything else. It's got a basic generator on it. You can just put fuel in it like you would a furnace. And that's storing up energy. And this is my... Instead of using a system of wires like this for the um, crystal charger, stuck it right on the top. And the crystal charger was used to make a... Um, well, not make it, but to charge a uh, energy crystal, which is what I needed to make a mining laser. And now this is what you use to charge the mining laser. So once this green bar diminishes and it and it's empty, you just stick it in there. But it uses forty-five thousand of my energy. It's ridiculous. It's probably the equivalent of like I don't know, like maybe like twenty coal. I don't know what the actual thing is, but I stuck like twenty coal in here to charge it back up. So. I guess it's probably more than 20 coal. But anyway, as you can see, it recycled my stuff there. I uh, do a lot of mining, especially now that I have my laser. And uh, I don't really have a use for cobblestone right now. So I usually, when I have all that excess cobblestone, I stick it in my recycler. Um, just hoping to get a rant. Oh, there we go. Oh, sweet. And I don't have enough to show you that yet, but nine of them makes a uh, a scrap box and then you throw it and it makes a random item and I mean random it gave me this which was pretty cool usually it gives me stupid stuff 
I got a pumpkin. I got two slime balls. One canned food open. A gold dust. It's very random. Some leather. Anyway. But the more basic stuff would be my extractor, which is for you stick raw wood in there and it extracts the rubber, which you need to make the cable and all kinds of stuff. Boop. And my macerator is used when you, you stick. Um, this is probably the coolest thing ever. And this is what makes the game amazing is that you stick a piece of ore in here and it turns it into two of these dusts. So one piece of ore equals two dusts, and then you stick the dust in a furnace. It doesn't have to be an electric furnace. I just happen to have one. Uh, so this doesn't require any coal or any fuel source anymore. And uh, but if you wanted, like if again, if like my if you when you first start, you don't have all these you know things. You're just you're running off of generators and batteries, and you can just you would stick a battery in the bottom here, and it would fill this up. But um, each every one dust equals a bar. So for every one piece of ore now, you're getting two bars. And that's obviously what's up. So, advanced alloy. Ooh. I'm starting to get a little more advanced in what I'm doing here, but I haven't really... The most advanced thing I think I've probably done is the mining laser. There's some really, really, really advanced machines that we can do. Um, haven't really gotten too, too into it yet. But last thing is the compressor. And this pain in the butt was used to make my first industrial diamond which requires 64 uh, coal that you have to turn into dust and um, some flint eight eight flint and one piece of obsidian and through a series of crushing and and crafting you'll eventually get a industrial diamond which is then turned into the uh, energy crystal and it gets pretty complex but my friend claims that there's wind variances in the game not that you would ever notice but like sometimes the wind turbines work better than others and that's because of wind variances I don't know if that's actually programmed in the game or not but if you guys want to know how to build all this stuff, like, it was really complicated. And if I was going to make, like, if I was going to record what I was doing, like, while he was explaining it to me, it would have, like, it would have taken the entire time of, like, eight hours or whatever it was because it was ridiculous. But, see, now I'm gaining energy more than I'm using it because I'm boss like that. But, um, because I'm a simpleton and it was really complicated. But if you guys want me to kind of break this down for you, I will. Um, but there's stuff out there where you can get tutorials on it, um, and they'll, uh, they should be able to teach you what's up. In fact, right in my, uh, sub box, I have, uh, Coco Smackdown, and he was doing this way before me. Um, I just, I'm not a big modder, a lot of you will know that. I'm not really super big into modding. Um, I like, you know, just good old-fashioned Minecraft, but, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm against the idea of it or whatever, so, you know, I figured I would just, uh, give this a shot because my buddy had a uh, multiplayer server where I couldn't get into it unless uh, I had all these mods, and... It's all about figuring out how you want to carve. Look at this, though. I mean, who doesn't want to mine with this thing? It's awesome. It doesn't look anything like a laser when you shoot it. It sounds like an arrow, and it looks like it shoots a piece of wool. <laughs> but, who cares? Because, man, it gets the job done. It's a great way to find resources, because you're just going to blast away everything, and, you know, you're bound to run into stuff. Industrial craft... Uh, one of the biggest things that you end up needing and running out of is iron. You need iron for everything, be it regular iron or huh, diamond. Or the, uh, bing, sweet. Give me your diamonds. Oh, that's a lot of diamonds. Some other stuff. Apologize for it being dark. I'm trying to keep it lit. 
But yeah, you end up needing iron more than anything else, so, um, and you spend a lot of time digging around for it, so, that's my main goal, but of course I get excited and like to see diamonds, too. Oh! But diamonds pretty much only serve the same purpose that they served in, uh, regular Minecraft. And I, I mean, I have diamond tools and stuff like that, but I don't have nearly as much of a need for diamond tools when I have a freaking laser. <laughs> but, and you can use this against anything. You can use the laser against mobs and stuff too. It's just that it's not very effective, actually. I was surprised. Like, when I first tested it on something that's not, you know, materials, I was like, oh. I'm gonna zap this freaking uh, what was it a cow? I was gonna I'm gonna zap this cow, and then I was like, Bzz, and then it just like hit it once. Like it took two hits to kill it. Like it hit it, but then like that was the end of the story. And I was just like, what lame. So yeah, it's not always, but you can shoot it at a distance. But then if you wanted to shoot things at distances, there's a mod for like having weapons in the game too. So I don't know. I wouldn't use the laser for hunting things. <laughs> But you can see how effective it is at all this. Or maybe you can't. Light. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to. Uh, I haven't forgotten about Minecraft Adventures or our underground uh, water fortress of coolitude. I was pretty peeved when, uh, like, right after I finished looking for all that glowstone and then building those glowstone blocks, that Notch changed it so that... Uh, the uh, glowstone is now it produces more when you break it and you need, you need less to make it so that was a waste of glowstone uh, like literally that patch came out the day after I did that <laughs> but um but I'm definitely gonna finish it uh, I really like it and I definitely want to complete what we were already working on and I don't want it to abandon my uh, world for Minecraft Adventures. That is that is our world and I enjoy playing on it just as much as hopefully you enjoy watching it. So just wanted to kind of showcase some other stuff that I've been doing. That's kind of been my theme lately, hasn't it? Because I've been playing a lot on uh, the multiplayer servers either with um, like the clans server which is a build server or uh, with Grim. I just posted our first episode in a long time. And that is going to become a regular series again. How's my inventory doing? It's starting to get there. It's hilarious. Come on now. Look how much fun I'm having. You want to have this fun too? I could also have maybe a tutorial on how to install it. Uh, it's not that difficult, but if you didn't have someone telling you, it might be a pain in the butt. Because... Uh, I'm not, I know, I don't know about you, but like when I have to read a bunch of instructions on how to, yes, on how to do something, my brain starts to melt. My brain was melting doing all this stuff because it was a lot of stuff. So, give me all red. I really don't need all this red, but I can't walk away from resources. Get back here. Ah, one piece of red fell down there. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, I can show you guys like on a, non video game video like if you want to know like where to get the files how to install them so on and so forth but again there's probably already a ton of videos like that and that's not usually what I do or my style but uh, whatever you guys need from me I will help but anyway thanks for watching thanks for checking out my awesome machines and there will be more machines to come except from this point on I pretty much made all the machines I can make that aren't that are more or less, you know, not basic because some of them were complex, but yeah, like from here, it requires way, way more as far as like materials and stuff like that. I have not found any coal. You gotta be kidding me. After all this poop? Alright. But yeah, so if you want to see more guys, the, the more complex machines are coming. Uh, nuclear reactors and all kinds of crap. My buddy, you can find uranium in this game. My buddy made a, uh, nuclear bomb <laughs> is multiplayer server it was ridiculous the amount of damage was I, I didn't think it was gonna be that big it was pretty cool so there's things we can get involved in guys but uh yeah
Thanks for watching. Laters.